I came here as a young man. <laughs> I'm now a senior. Uh, that's not because River Oaks made me any older. It's just because I got that way. Uh, that's what happens. But there was something along the way the whole time. There was always something for whatever age I was, whatever place I was spiritually, uh, whatever need I had uh, at that time as I grew. Uh, and it continues to be uh, something there each time. And, and I don't see it changing. Uh, it's always here for us. Well, we're um, Susan and Kelly Ryan um, from Advance, North Carolina, here these days. Uh, we came to River Oaks uh, about 24 years ago. Adam uh, Carlson, who was in school with our oldest son, Christian, uh, and they are still best friends, uh, said, why don't you try this church that I go to? And he invited Christian to River Oaks. So Christian went, he came back and reported, I think this is a place you like. And so the next week we went, and uh, it was a place that we liked. Uh, Jim Dyer, the current the, the praise team leader at that point, asked me if I'd be interested in playing some percussion. So I said, yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. There's times when the music comes down, and uh, you can hear a congregation sing it. And to me, that is um, that's a little look into heaven. My very first role with River Oaks was to cut the Krispy Kreme donuts into quarters uh, for the coffee bar after the uh, service at Forsyth Country Day. And currently I serve on the stewardship team and have been doing that for a number of years. River Oaks is a place where uh, the Word of God is preached and the Word of God is lived out. And you see that weekly, daily, if you're here. In July of 2001, David Beatty gave a sermon about Peter. And he spoke about how true faith was not just what you felt or thought or said, but putting your faith into action, what you did. And in Peter's case, that meant stepping out of the boat. God told me that he was opening the door for me to step out of the boat and go to law school at age 47. I went home that day and told Kelly what I felt, and he immediately said, yes, Susan, do this. We launched off on um, preparing to go to law school, um, getting accepted into law school, going to law school, and then my legal career. Our boys grew up here. They were 11 and 13 when we moved in. <clears throat> so they went to youth group, went through the youth program with Sonny, went to mission trips. They've been out of the country more times than I have. Brett started out playing drums. We were just talking to Sonny. Sonny said, you're playing drums this week. And he was like, okay. And he started playing drums in the praise team. And uh, you can see him up on the, on the stage now playing. He met his future wife uh -huh. in the youth group, Abby Carlson, Adam's sister. You know, she has been part of this. And for us, every Sunday morning, seeing our three granddaughters come in and just smile and run off to their classes. And as a grandparent, that really <laughs> warms your heart. Yeah. So we're a, a three-generational family that uh, attends River Oaks. This is the kind of place that you stay for a lifetime. 